Hi, Sue Wilson, and I've got a beautiful safari card to share with you today from our new safari collection. We're going to show you how to make this absolutely stunning background. I'll show you what we'll be using for today's uh, video. From our safari collection, I have the African Adventure, as well as the African Animals. These are beautiful, and there is also a matching stamp set for these, but we're using them in silhouette today. And from the Eliza, I'm just going to be using the center circle to create a beautiful moon for our, our background. And then we're also going to be using some pixie powders to start with. So I've got the Midnight Blue Pixie Powder, Aqua Lagoon, and the Purple Violet. And so we're going to start there. So I am going to give you a quick measurement. I've got a piece of coconut white card that is six and a half by eight and a quarter. Okay, so we're going to start with our pixie powders. I'm going to take all the lids off here. Starting with the purple violet, although it doesn't matter which color you start with. So what I'm going to do is just tap this color all over my background. You don't want to squeeze the pixie powders, you just want to tap them. And it will distribute powder all over your background, just keeping moving it around. And I want this to be quite a solid background, so I'm going to put a fair bit of um, product on here. I'm going to go to the Aqua Lagoon, just do the same exact thing, kind of mix it around, just trying to get a little bit of color everywhere. And Midnight Blue. So you can see there's quite a bit of the pigment. Now I've put down a piece of wax paper just to kind of keep it nice and tidy and I have taped the edges of this so that there will be a little bit of a void there. But that's okay. I usually start with a piece that's a bit bigger than what I need anyway. So now what we're going to do is just bring in a spritz bottle and this is just water. So we're just going to give it a beautiful spritz and get all that color activated. Okay, isn't that pretty? Now, the thing is with pixie powders, you can let them dry like this and they're absolutely stunning. You can heat set it, that works too. It's totally whatever you want to do. But what we're going to do is I've got a piece of cling film, or as Americans call it, saran wrap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just lay this over the background. Okay, and then I'm going to just scrunch it down into place. And you can see it will grab all the water on that and just start to make little wrinkles everywhere. It's beautiful. I wish I could say I invented this technique, but it has been around for so long. But it's absolutely stunning. So now, when you're really happy, you've got all sorts of wrinkles and beautiful patterns coming in on that background. What you want to do is set it aside to dry. And you have to be patient. I let it dry overnight. Um, but what you'll create is, I'll show you, a beautiful background like this. And you can see how all that mica in the pixie powder gets caught into those um, creases in the saran wrap, in the um, cling film. And it dries that way, and it's absolutely stunning. Isn't that pretty? Okay. So now what I'm going to do is use this as my base and we're going to layer onto the, um, the background with the silhouettes. So I've got a couple of grasses that I've gone ahead and cut out of black. So I'm going to bring these in and then put some Cosmic Shimmer Dries glue, uh, glue on the back. Just a little bit along the base should do the trick. Okay, pop that on the very edge there. And I'm going to do another one here, and they'll just sort of um, overlap a little bit. Okay, so there's our grass. Now let me get my trees. Ah, there we go. I've got a little tree here. So I'm going to pop the very smallest one down in this corner with a little bit of glue. Just sort of tuck it under the edge of the grass there. So it looks almost like it's in the distance. I think we can do that. There we go. And then one of the bigger trees I'm going to add, and I'm going to float it a little bit because we are going to put the, um, the baby right in front of it. Take a little bit of mounting foam that I've put on the back here. Pop that down right about like so. And then the last tree, which is actually the medium tree, I'm going to float that a little bit too. But I think what I'll do is I'll get that ready and I'll put my elephants 
down and then I know exactly where I want to put it. So the baby is going to sit right here with a little bit of mounting foam and he'll just look like he's walking on the grass. That's about right. Here's the mother. Some mounting foam on the back of her. And we're just going to make it look like he's holding onto her tail. So cute like that. There and then right in the background, I'm going to kind of float this tree so it looks like it's in the distance a bit more. Okay. Now I've got a sentiment I've cut in both white and black. And because I wanted it to really pop out, I'm going to use the black as a shadow and just put the white over the back of it. Let me just use a little bit of spray glue on the back of it and just shadow it ever so slightly off the edge. There we go. And I can use a bit of glue on the back and we'll seat that in our uh, sky area. There we go. That should be enough to stick that nicely. That is going to pop right about there. Any glue that you get off that will dry clear, so don't worry about that at all. And then I've used the circle from the middle of the Eliza, and I've just offset it to kind of look like a, a, a shadow moon, like an eclipse. So I've got a white and a black one there. And I'll pop that right up into the corner there. And finish off with a couple little birds here. Just a little bit of glue. I think we can just pick these up and pop them onto place. Because they look like they're just flying in the sky behind. Oops. Like maybe that. And this little guy. Kind of a side view. Oops, get on there. There we go. And we've got to have a base for our card. So I've done a little bit of mounting foam on the back of this. And I did put a white and a black mount around my background piece just to make it show up really, really nice. I think it pops it out. Put that right into the center like that. And quick overall measurement on that would be uh, seven and a half inches by oh, just a hair over eight inches. And there you have it. It's a beautiful background. It's so quick and easy to do. You'll have fun doing the pixie powder backgrounds and you can just do a bunch of them, grab them as you need them. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Don't forget our YouTube channel has so many more for you there. Don't forget, subscribe.